Group 7 Chemical Properties Diatomic Molecules by kscience.com Here I'm drawing a simplified periodic table. To the right of the stepped line are the nonmetals, and to the left are the metals. This section of the periodic table represents Group 7. It's found just before Group 0 to the far right of the periodic table. Group 7 are also known as the halogens. You need to know the order of the halogens from top to bottom in the group. The first halogen is fluorine, followed by chlorine, then bromine, followed by iodine, and then astatine. The halogens have similar chemical and physical properties. However, this depends on what type of bonding they form. If they form simple molecules, then they will bond with other nonmetals where there will be covalent bonds between the atoms. Whereas if they form ionic compounds, the group 7 nonmetals will react with metals and there will be ionic bonds between the ions in the compounds. And because halogens are nonmetals, they will not form metallic bonding with any atoms. Metallic bonding only takes place between metal atoms. In this video, we're going to focus on the chemical properties of when halogens form simple molecules. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. When they are pure substances, halogens exist as diatomic molecules. Let's break down the words diatomic and molecules to really understand what a diatomic molecule actually is. A molecule consists of a group of atoms bonded by covalent bonds to form a distinct molecule. The word distinct means it is isolated or individual. The molecule is by itself and it is not bonded to other molecules. For example, some molecules which you should already know about are carbon dioxide, water, methane and oxygen. Molecules always consist of non-metal atoms covalently bonded together. And notice how there is space in between the molecules. This is what I mean by them being distinct. Atomic just means atom. And di means two. So if the word molecule means a group of atoms bonded by covalent bonds, and diatomic means two atoms, if you put diatomic and molecule together, it just means two atoms bonded by a covalent bond. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Fluorine is a diatomic molecule which has been represented here using a dot and cross diagram showing the outer electrons only. You can see it's a diatomic molecule because there are two atoms joined together by a covalent bond. Remember, a covalent bond is the shared pair of electrons between non-metal atoms. F2 is the molecular formula of a fluorine molecule. The molecular formula of Every diatomic molecule is written like this. You just write the symbol and then a two at the bottom. Chlorine is a diatomic molecule which has the molecular formula Cl2. When drawing a dot and cross diagram of a diatomic molecule, you draw two circles overlapping. You draw the symbols in the middle and then you draw the covalent bond where the two circles overlap. If it is a single covalent bond, it is just a dot and a cross. And then you draw the remaining electrons as dot and crosses on the remaining shells. Where the two circles overlap and you see the dot and the cross which represent the bonded pair of electrons, this is the strong covalent bond which requires a lot of energy to break. Bromine is a diatomic molecule which has the molecular formula Br2. Here are two bromine molecules 
represented by dot and cross diagrams showing the outer electrons only. These lines represent the weak intermolecular forces which exist between the molecules and they require little energy to break. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.